Today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Send Me Gluten-Free monthly subscription box service. The very best in gluten-free foods delivered to your door every single month from your friends over at FindMeGlutenFree.com. If you guys are trying to find ways to cut gluten out of your diet, maybe trying to eat a little bit healthier, it's out of the box, www.SendMeGlutenFree.com is your destination if you would like to have one of these boxes delivered to your house now. That being said, let's go ahead and open up the box. And we got ourselves a little flyer. It says, get ready to try the best gluten-free foods, gluten-free goods out there. And don't forget to share your thoughts. At the end of the month, you'll receive a survey via email where you can rate the products in exchange for special co uh, coupon codes. This way, you can continue getting all the best gluten-free finds at a discount. Uh, www.facebook.com also forward slash send me gluten free. Put that to the side. So everything inside here is certainly a, a healthier alternative if you still get a case of the munchies and you want to eat something, but eat something a little bit better for you. First things first, we have gluten free brownie thins. It's free for all kitchen, double chocolate. What's inside? Dutch chocolate, a Dutch cocoa I should say. We have chocolate. Chocolate flakes, butter, cane sugar, cassava flour, cassava flour, uh, ancient whole grains, amaranth, quinoa, millet, and sorghum, teth, or teff, buttermilk, sea salt, and potato starch. It is the gourmet retailer's editor's pick for 2014 best product. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, luckily there's a little perforation. That was easy. Much easier than I was thinking. And inside, that's what one of the crackers snacks look like. Very dark in color. I almost see a little bit of the salt on the top there. All right, let's give it a try. The double chocolate gluten-free brownie thins. Here we go. It starts relatively sweet. Near the end, the darker chocolate cocoa flavor kind of kicks in. It makes it a little bit on the bitter side. But all things considered, actually, for it being a gluten-free uh, treat, it's pretty good. Again, it just gets a little bitter near the end because of that cocoa flavor kicking in. But surprisingly, actually, not that bad. Give it another bite. Yeah, that's not bad. Kind of tastes like a, like a hot cocoa flavor. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Good way to start. Moving along, we also have chickpea snacks. This is from Bueno. A bu a Bienna. It is 24% daily fiber, 70% less fat than dry roasted peanuts. It is also, of course, gluten-free. It says big... Flavor, big crunch, all natural. I have a friend who absolutely loves chickpeas as snacks. I could really take them or leave them, to be honest. So let's go ahead and we'll try one of these. It is a chickpea, but it's been dried out. And give it a try. It's not bad, but it has a very distinct flavor to it. It's not what you would expect a peanut would taste like. Oh no. Chickpeas definitely have a more heartier flavor to them. The sea salt definitely adds a little bit extra stuff to it as opposed to it just being the straight out chickpeas. I could see myself snacking on these while watching a movie or you know watching a television show. They're not bad. I prefer peanuts personally, but dried chickpeas, actually, they're not too bad. The sea salt, I think, helps a lot. Put those right there. And moving along, we've got classic almond butter with pretzels from Justine's a Snack or Justin's Snack Pack. 210 calories per pack. Also is gluten-free. And 
this brings me back to days of school. Going to school and you got the little snack pack snacks with you. I usually went for peanut butter, but there was also cheese as well. A much healthier alternative, granted. This is one of the pretzel sticks. And we've got the almond butter. Just dip a little bit going on in there. Oops, try not to break a pretzel off there. You would have to, because this is a more natural alternative, you would have to mix it around a bit just to get all the oils and everything and solids mixed together. Let's give it a try. The almond butter and pretzels. Almond butter by nature tends to be a little bit drier of a butter versus that of peanuts. And of course, when you eliminate a lot of the sugars, uh, Almond paste or almond butter, again, doesn't have as much flavor to it as what peanuts would have. The pretzels, though, definitely enhance the flavor of the almond butter by giving that little bit of extra saltiness that I think enhances the flavor of the almond butter. That's not bad. Put that to the side. I think my favorite so far might be the, uh, the brownie thins. And moving along, we have the buy one, give one food company chocolate banana mini snack bar. It's GMO free, it's kosher, it's gluten free, no nut ingredients. I'll just open up the wrapper. It looks, I was gonna say it looks spongy. There's one of the pieces right there. Once again, going I think that more the root of a darker chocolate than that of a semi-sweet chocolate. I don't know if the specs, oh, it looks like the specs could be like a sesame seed. Let's check the ingredients. Uh, brown rice syrup, chocolate chips, and we got soy ground, oh, ground, ground sunflower seeds. That's probably what it is. Oh, sesame seeds are in there, as well as dried banana. Banana and chocolate could work very well together. Let's give this a try and find out. As you're chewing, you can taste all the little granules of the sesame seeds. Banana gives a nice little flavoring Hansen experience to the dark chocolate. It is dark chocolate because you've incorporated the banana in there as well. It evens out some of the bitterness that would be found in dark chocolate. Could be uh, potentially a new, f a new winner in this box. This is the, again, the buy one, give one food company and this is the chocolate banana mini snack bar. Probably my favorite so far from this box. Moving along, we have crackers, gluten-free crackers, yummy cheddar. Calorie contents, you're looking at 130 calories per one package. It's 100% gluten-free, corn-free, sugar-free. No artificial preservatives, no artificial ingredients or color. Zero grams, no trans fat and 100% fun to eat. And is there a way to, oh, yes, there is a way to open this. That's good. Makes things a lot easier than using a knife. And open up the, oh, is that cute? They're actually shaped like little ducks, little quackers. It seems more, almost a, on par with more like a cookie than a cracker, just because of the density of it. Let's give it a try. Quackers Yummy Cheddar. Hmm. The flavor, I would say, it's probably on par with something like a Ritz cracker. It's definitely... Um, I don't feel it like it's missing anything by it being gluten-free and having thing, the preservatives and the artificial flavors all removed from it. It still does very well tasting like a cracker. The cheese is there as well. I like crackers. Generally, I kind of gravitate more towards the saltine crackers. You put a little bit of cheese on there. That's delicious. But uh, if you like Ritz crackers, that kind of buttery cheesiness... I know Ritz crackers, I don't think, tend to have cheese on them. They're more like the buttery uh, Ritz crackers. It's kind of on par with that. A good cracker. A good cracker indeed. And good for you. That's what's most important. Put that right there. 
And we looks like we got ourselves a bag of chips. This is Ips Chips with Protein Barbecue. This has 60 grams of protein per serving, crunchy and delicious. Puffed corn and protein snack. 125 calories per one package. Ips rhymes with chips are incredible protein snacks, crunchy, delicious, and satisfying. We blend non-GMO corn, the highest quality protein from whey and egg whites, and other wholesome ingredients. Then we use our pressure puff process to create a delightfully tasty chip that we season to perfection. Finally, a chip that you can feel great about eating. Premium protein from whey and egg gluten-free, half the fat of fried potato chips, fewer carbs than leading baked potato chips, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. And once again, perforation is there, that's good. Let's reach deep into the bag. And what we are treated to is something a little more on the puffed side than a flatter potato chip. Kind of looks like, uh, well again, it looks like a flat kind of cheese puff. Here we go, let's give it a try. And this is also barbecue flavor. The Ips Chips with Protein. Here we go. That's really good. It tastes like a, a puffier, crispier potato chip. That when you bite into it, the outer surface is that of a potato chip, but the inner puffiness is that of like a, a Cheeto or, or a cheese puff. The barbecue flavor is not smoky, it's a sweeter barbecue, I like that. These are something I could easily sit and enjoy a bag of, again, while watching, you know, watching TV. The chickpeas, I kind of, again, I, I'm more into the realm of a peanut rather than a chickpea, but these definitely could be something I could sit and enjoy a bag of. And they're healthier too, which is good. Again, Spot's always trying to watch, watch his intake, trying to eat a little bit healthier. And I also see we have, don't go nuts, chocolate roasted soybean spread nut-free dips. Now, I don't have a spoon for this, so I'm gonna open the package. You know, of course, very careful. It got a little on the crushed side. Go ahead and open this up. I was gonna say I don't have um, I don't have a spoon. However, I do have pretzels. Why not? Chocolate with pretzels, they go. We're gonna just mix this together. Just kind of stir the solids and the liquids together, and get a good heaping spoon of it on the end of my pretzel. Let's give it a try. It does look delicious. Here we go. Let's give it a try. It does taste more actually like fudge, a chocolate fudge, than a dot. It almost looks more like a, like a bittersweet chocolate ganache, something you would put over a dessert, but it's sweeter than I was expecting. This is a horrible comparison, but if you were to take like Betty Crocker icing, which is the furthest thing from being good for you, and if you had dark chocolate Betty Crocker frosting, I would say this is on par to that flavoring wise. Of course, this is much healthier for you than the likes of a Betty Crocker frosting. So, uh, not bad. Chocolate roasted soybean spread nut-free dips. Also another win in this box. We also have salted caramel uh, cocoa rocks. Sea salt caramel cocoa rocks, or choco rocks. It's gluten and nut-free. And let's go ahead and open this up. Very strange looking, it almost kind of looks like a pretzel, a glossed over pretzel. It looks, it does look like little rocks. And it's salted caramel. Let's give it a try. Ooh, I like that. By the way, this is coming to us from Kimi, the Kimi Candy Company. And let me tell you, my friends, they are delicious. It's only 50 calories per pack, but they're sweet. Definitely not, you know, sometimes when you get a healthier snack, you really know right off the bat, it's gonna taste not as good 
That's maybe something that has a lot of sugar and a lot of hydrogenated things and a lot of things that you really can't pronounce. The salted caramel, on the other hand, they're sweet, but they're still good for you. And again, gluten-free. Definitely another uh, hit in this box. And furthering that, it looks like we got a couple of different candies from the Kimmy Candy Company. This is Sunburst Candy Coated Chocolatey Covered Sunflower Kernels. It's peanut and gluten-free. And there we go. It looks like the equivalent of Skittles. Of course, inside Skittles, just full of sugar. These would be sunflower kernels. Let's give it a try. That sunflower taste inside gives you a very peanut-esque kind of flavor to it. While the outside is a softer candy coating, gives you the sweetness and the kick that you like. It's a good happy medium. It almost is like a softer peanut M&M. Although, again, a little bit better for you. Another hit. Another hit I also might add from the Kimmy Candy Company. And finally, we have Choco Rocks. This is just the regular Choco Rocks, whereas the other ones were salted caramel. Candy-coated chocolatey chunks, also from the Kimmy Candy Company. 100% made in the USA as well. And like the salted caramel, they look like little rock nuggets. Let's give it a try. Tastes, much like these ones tasted like peanut M&Ms, these taste like regular M&Ms, just a little easier to bite down on. Because sometimes when you get an M&M, the hard candy shell, not the best for your teeth. These ones are so softer version, but tastes exactly the same as, as an M&M. It's got that semi-sweet chocolate, the sweet candy outer exterior. Quite good, and only 50 calories per pack see what else we have in here. I don't think we have anything else other than we've got an envelope. And of course, we've got a whole bunch of packing material. We have the Kimmy Candy Corp, Corp uh, Company. Use discount code GF0915 to receive 10% off your first order, valid until the end of this year. www.shopkimmycandy.com. It's gluten-free. And we also got ourselves an envelope from Send Me Gluten-Free Savings. And what savings did we save? Buy a bar, give a meal. At, particip uh, at participating in this offer, you are providing 19 meals to, to hungry children. Go to 2degreesfood.com. Use promo code SMGF15 or it could be I-5, and say 15% off your entire order. It's valid until November. And we also have Justin's $2 off any jar, almond butter. We have save 50 cents on any one no-G uh, high-protein bar. So I don't think we, did we get a high protein bar in here? No, oh, actually, we do have something else in here. We have two other things. Oh, fancy that, I wasn't even, I thought we had finished everything, but we have, we have not. We'll go back to those, we'll go back to those. $5 off with this coupon code for a gluten-free bar at the GFB, believe in a better bar. $5 off any food bottle at plantfusion.net, the everything shake. And we got a thing for quinoa. Do you heart quinoa? I heart quinoa. Naturally nutritious, creative quinoa. Quinoa clusters, quinoa puffs. One dollar off coupon. I love better beans. This is the uncanny refried black beans. 
I love refried black beans. Better beans are so delicious, you can't help but fall in love. Skilled, sauteed with the best ingredients, better beans are bursting with fresh flavor and wholesome nutrition, freshly packed, refrigerated, and ready to eat. So everyone can eat more beans, the original superfood. Um, at Better Bean Company, info at betterbeancompany.com. And finally, the Better Bean, you can save 75 cents on one 14 ounce deli tub, any flavor. It expires the end of this year. Two other things that we didn't even see. We have Macelle's uh, Sevens, Seven Bouillon Cubes. Now, Spot's not going to eat these because it's a bouillon cube. It's going to be something you're going to put in with soups. It's gluten-free, lactose-free, trans-fat-free, cholesterol-free, no animal content, no uh, added MSG, and no onion or garlic. Interesting that they would have to put no onion or garlic, but I guess for some people that don't want to eat onions or garlic. And finally, we have a jam. This is Bon Maman Strawberry Preserves. And ingredients, strawberries, sugar, cane, sugar concentrate, lemon juice, fruit, pectin. www.white toke.com T O I think that's T O Q U E Might as well wrap dessert. And open this up. Now again, I don't have sadly, I don't have uh, a spoon. However, once again, good old reliable pretzels. We'll dip the pretzel in there. Pretzels and strawberry jam. Yeah, why not? Why not? Going to dip that in there. Get enough on the pretzel itself and give it a try. Yeah, by the way, strawberry jam and pretzels, delicious. Good bit of crunch. That salt adds a little bit of kick to the strawberry jam. But the strawberry jam itself is quite delicious. It's more refined as well than regular jam. Mm. Good way to end with strawberry jam. If you guys are interested in having uh, gluten-free snacks delivered to your house every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe today. I'll go ahead and close the box. Today's subscription spot, we were having a look at the Send Me Gluten-Free monthly subscription boxes. Stay tuned, guys. Spots can have more subscription spots heading your way as we have a look at other items that can come to your house every single month. Thanks for watching. See you next time.